Good evening, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful rideshare revolutionaries. It's me, Geo, and you all know who the fuck it is. Alright, I'm not gonna monetize this one. Uh, just a quick, I'm falling asleep, and just so happened, I was doing some quick Googling, and this, this uh, story came in on my homepage, uh, Unhinged Lyft Driver's Beatdown Ruin, Composer's Illustrious Career. Um... Now, it talks about how on May 24th of 2017, so over two years ago, a Lyft driver allegedly driving without a TLC license uh, beat the brakes off this composer. Um, I'm reading the story, and I'm like, ah, oh, this looks really bad. This driver fucked him up, all from a cancellation, apparently. And then... But as I kept reading, this part got interesting right here. More than two years later, Pratt still hasn't completely recovered physically, having lost a subtle timing, mobility, concentration, sensitivity to pitch, and stamina needed to perform as, as an elite musician. I mean, that part, while I don't doubt that the driver... Put his hands on this guy and may have, may have injured him and earlier on in the story it said that uh the driver also smashed his phone and took a swing at another lady on the street i'm not doubting any of that what what i find strange is the timing of this um because according to this the driver was still on the platform until january of 2018 and somehow they found out that he kept on driving passengers. Um, so all this going on, and then the police never arrested him for, for these... Sorry, I'm trying to find the part of the story. There's a part down here that says the police never... Um... Okay, a spokesman for the NYPD confirmed... I'm not even going to try to say that had not been arrested as of Wednesday, and that investigation remains ongoing. Um, and then Pratt says, no longer feeling safe in public, all this stuff. I mean, I'm not I'm not doubting the physical injuries, but the fact that this suit got filed two two years after the attack, after the, after the event, really makes me have some doubts. You know, is this guy just trying to milk it? Is he trying to get money from... The driver is trying to get money from the lift. Um, Got to examine all possibilities because this just seems... It seems odd that the driver was still doing rides, you know, more than six months after the attack, and that um, the police never arrested him. And two years later, this guy's trying to sue him. So just, just a little odd. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave some comments in the, in, in the comment section. I'll try to get back to them in the morning. So that's all I got for this one. Everyone, please uh, stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.